You're watching News 54. With less than a month to Kenya's presidential elections, the latest survey by two leading opinion polls puts Azimio Lamoa one Kenya coalition presidential candidate trailer holding her ahead by a narrow lead. A poll conducted by TIFA Research shows that Raylo is leading with about 42% compared to Ruto's 39% in results released on 14 July. A survey from InfoTrack whose results were released on 13 July, also shows Raylo ahead with 43%, followed by Ruto at 37%. According to both polls, the two leading candidates are unlikely to either pass the 50% plus one vote target nationally, or the quarter of ballots cast in half of Kenya's 47 counties to win the presidency in the first round, as per the constitution. However, Tom Wolfe, a lead researcher at TIFA, says the other two presidential candidates, George Wajakoy of the Roots Party of Kenya and David Moyer of Agano Party, are also gaining popularity across the country, so much so that neither Raila nor Ruto will win the first round. Ruto has dismissed the results of the polls, terming them as fake and claiming that they are sponsored by his opponents. However, Rayla and his allies also say the opinion polls are not correctly predicting the outcome. They believe that Rayla will clinch the presidency with more than 60% of the vote nationally. But in essence, what our numbers are telling us is that the intention to vote will be very high. What are the overall presidential popularity ratings as we speak? Currently, we have Rayla at 43%. We have Ruto at 37%, we have the undecided at 16%, and then we have George Wajakoya coming in at 4%, and we have David Wahiga, who is the fourth uh, presidential ticket, at 0.1%. Okay? In essence, if we were to translate this for the... It's still a two-horse race. Therefore, it is 37 uh, for Ruto, it is 43. For Raila, it is 16% undecided. It is only 4% as we speak for George Wajakoya. Significant from zero uh, or nothing as we were seeing before to 4%. So it's something that one should take note of. And then we have 0.1% um, for, for uh, Wahiga. Uh, but in essence, if we were to translate those directly into votes, removing the people who said they're, they're not going to vote, so 93%, uh, 98%, is it 93%? Yeah. Then we would say that if we translated the 43%, Raila would today have 9.4 million votes. Okay? Uh, this is against the 9 point, in July he has 9.4 million votes. In June, when we did the survey last time you were here, he had 9.3 million. He's only gained 1%. Ruto has lost only 1%. So in June he had 8.4 million votes, currently he's standing at about 8.1 million votes. We have seen that the undecided is where things have changed. In June the undecided was at 4.4 million votes, it's now gone down to 3.6 million and guess who has, has benefited from the undecided? 